Hey folks, this is Priyansh from Team Signals, and in this video, we'll uh, monitor your uh, Express application using Open Telemetry. So let's get started. But before we get started, there are some things which you need to know. So Open Telemetry enables you to generate telemetry data like logs, metrics, and traces from your application. You then need a backend to send the collected telemetry data. So in this tutorial, we'll use Signals as our backend and open source APM tool built to support Open Telemetry natively. So let's get started. So first of all, let's install Signos and then instrument the app with open telemetry libraries and then set the open telemetry exporter endpoint to a specified port of the machine where Signos is installed so the open telemetry can send data to it. And then finally, we use Signos dashboards to analyze metrics and traces. For the purpose of this video, we'll install Signos locally. Uh, by the way, I'm using MacBook Air M1. Install Signos and just copy the code in here. So I already did the thing for you, the git clone, cd into Signos, deploy directory and run the install.ss script. Basically it will do, it will just download it and then detect the OS, start Docker, pull these latest containers from Signos and then create these containers. And finally you will get a success mark. Installation is complete, and then you can uh, see the front end UI at localhost 3301. Don't forget to share your email ID when prompted to do. Okay, so let's open the Signos UI dashboard. Yeah, uh, you will get a login screen because Signos provides a role based access control feature. So you can create an account with admin access, then invite your team members to collaborate. Or if you already have the credentials uh, that your admin shared with you, you can log in. And after you log in, you will get this window this uh, screen these four services are the services that come with signals yeah the application list in the dashboard is from sample app called hot rod that comes bundled with signals installation packages all right so let's create a sample express application so for that you need to have node.js version 12 or newer so make a directory and install express so let's do that real quick i'll make a directory called express app cd into it and npm install express okay done pretty simple and then set up an index.js file and just a simple hello world code so let me just open it up in my VS Code editor and make a file index.js and copy the piece of code. So it's listening on port 9090 and we have to hit the URL slash hello. Okay, so let's test if it's working or not. So let me copy it here, go in here and paste. So it seems like it's working. Just go on local host 9090 okay it cannot get slash because it should be hello yeah hello world working perfectly now let's control c and stop the application so now with that being done, we need to instrument the Express application with open telemetry. And for that, we need these four packages. So what are these packages? You can read it over here, the API, the SDK node, the auto instrumentation node and exporter OTLP gRPC because we export data via gRPC. So you can read those if you wish to. Let me just install these dependencies right here. All right, those four dependencies are being successfully installed. Now let's create a tracing.js file using the code below. So let me copy this code. We just uh, initialize some constants to use the dependencies, the packages that we just installed and some piece of code. You can read the comments here. It, this configures the SDK to import telemetry data to the console and uh, gracefully shut down the SDK, initialize the SDK and those sort of things. So let me copy it here make a tracing.js file tracing.js copy it here and save it all right now we need to pass the necessary environment variables so 
this is a format of it. In the place of IP of Cygnos, we will use localhost because Cygnos is installed in this machine locally. If it's not installed locally, you can use the Cygnos, uh, you can use the IP of that machine. Okay, so the final command looks like here. The service name is Express App, which will be shown in the dashboard. So let me copy it here, paste it. Yeah, tracing initialized and uh, successfully you have instrumented your app Express application. Now let us hit this endpoint a couple number of times so that we can send some dummy data, telemetry data to Signals dashboard and analyze it. So currently I'm just refreshing the page, nothing fancy. Now just wait for a few seconds and hit refresh. So yeah, you see the Express app over here. Now let's click on it. And uh, yeah, we have some data that we generated by uh, refreshing the page. And these are the top endpoints that we have. So you can also click on the endpoint and go through the traces tab, or else you can click on the application latency graph and click on view traces. So in view traces, this is how the dashboard looks like. This is the service name that we set in the environment variable. You can also sort by sum of duration, max duration, and set a custom duration line over here, group by operation names. And let's, let me click on one of the traces. And this trace has four spans. And this is basically the gain chart and uh, flame graph view that is provided with Cygnos. And let me click on this trace, uh, like uh, this span, sorry. And these are the tags associated with that span. You can see the runtime version of it, the service name, et cetera, et cetera. And uh, yeah, this is basically how it looks like. If you want to see how a detailed span, a trace detail would look like, go to view traces of the front end application, click on this. And yeah, this, this trace has 51 spans and uh, the red ones are the error spans. You click on one, go to events, and you will see this is caused due to Redis timeout. And uh, if you wish just to look at these 15 spans, so click on one and go to focus on selected span. Now we'll just see these 15 spans, kind of a focused view. And you can also go on dashboards to create a new dashboard or import your own JSON from it. Uh, you can also view time series or value data. So let me give you a quick overview of what all things are possible with Signos. So these are the custom dashboards that we built and you can also build for yourself. All right, so that is it for this video. I think if you have any doubts, comment down below. And if you have any questions about Signos, definitely reach out to us on our Slack channel, like a place where we discuss things around open source, observability and APM. Links to everything will be in the description below. Um, looking forward to your feedback on how we can make signals better. And with that, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.